Hi, my name's Nicole. I'm a USA cancer dietitian. I help you eat really well during cancer treatment or reduce risk of cancer after treatment. And right now I'm going to explain 11 different things that you can be aware of or that you can do to help reduce your risk as a young adult. So there's three things, getting your period, beginning your period at a very young age, not having children until later in your life. Usually that's defined by 30 or older or not nursing your children. The fourth thing is an excessive alcohol intake. So first off, it's actually recommended through the World Cancer Research Fund to have absolutely no alcohol. So the recommendation is zero. And you're just drinking a lot on the weekends or you're drinking a lot every evening. You really want to rethink that. Excessive alcohol intake and actually any alcohol intake is going to increase risk for six different cancers. Mouth, throat, stomach, liver, breast, and colon cancers. Another one, the fifth one, you've probably guessed it, is any type of tobacco use. Any type. So tobacco is going to increase risk of cancer and this is in any form. Next one is gaining weight or being overweight or obese for a long period of time. Having excess adipose tissue on your body can interrupt the natural process of your body to repair any you know, damaged DNA or damaged cells throughout your body, which happens every day, by the way. Another risk factor is if you have type 2 diabetes. This, again, is sort of like the adipose tissue. If your body is not functioning very well, you're not able to control and maintain and manage your body, and then you get diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. If you continue to mismanage your blood sugars, it's going to be hard on your body to run and function properly. The next thing is when people do not consume a lot of plant foods. So if you don't have very many plant foods, like you know only a couple servings a day, you're not eating whole grain breads, you're not focusing on adding nuts, seeds, beans, things like that. If you have a low plant diet, that is going to increase your risk of cancer. Another thing would be if you were exposed to environmental toxins over an extended period of time or a lot of it, make sure that you're using proper safety measures in all of your environments, in your work environments. And then again, this kind of comes back to my first point, being on oral contraceptives. Again, you want to speak with your doctor, you want to speak with your OBGYN on these risk factors, but this is what researchers have found to be one of the reasons why young adults may be at increased risk for cancer. And then the last and final one, the 11th one, is if you have very abnormal sleep patterns or you don't get enough sleep. This is important to make sure that you sleep really well. And why is that? To balance out your hormones. If, if you'd like to learn more, make sure you link in bio. 